Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the Paradigm AI Smoke Woods and Irons from Callaway. This week, the PGA Tour heads to Memorial Park Golf Course in Houston, Texas for the Texas Children's Houston Open. This tournament was last held in November of 2022. Consider that Byron Nelson won the first event in 1946. Curtis Strange, Vijay Singh, they both won Houston three times. Past champions have included the likes of Arnold Palmer, Gary Player, and Raymond Floyd. The PGA Tour returns to the fourth largest city of the United States, and that's where we find our Damon Hack. Damon, the number one ranked player in the world, is in the field. What's the buzz around having Scotty Scheffler there? Yeah, Matty, after a single solitary week off, the world number one back to work this week here in Houston. He was on the golf course today. He played nine holes, the front nine, alongside Chesson Hadley, Nick Dunlap, and Blaine Hale Jr. Scotty's coach, Randy Smith, walked the front nine as well. Scotty will play the back nine tomorrow during his pro-am. He's also expected to address the media. Now, as for his chances, he's been the first player since 2017 to win three consecutive starts. Well, Scotty has a great record here as well in the fall of 2022 he finished tied for ninth and the year before that he finished runner-up that included a course record tying 62. And Damon it's been a minute but Tony Finau will finally get his chance to defend his title this week. Yeah I spoke to Tony earlier he's happy about his game and very happy to be back here at Memorial Park where he won by four shots over Tyson Alexander with four rounds in the 60s. But this is not your typical title defense because that win came in the fall of 2022, November of 2022 during the PGA Tour's final wraparound season. So I asked Tony, what's it like to defend a title from 16 months ago? Yeah, I was going to play quite a bit different. You know, with the overseeded grass, uh, it's not going to bounce nearly as much. So I think the golf course will play a lot longer. Um, and it's going to be a lot warmer. So, you know, the ball, the ball is actually going to travel. So um, maybe they'll all set each other a little bit. But overall, I think the golf course is going to play soft, and um, which is quite different than when it played, how it played in November. How might it be different from a driving perspective? Yeah, um, I think it's, I actually think the fairways might be a little easier to hit because it is, you know, um, the grass is longer this time of year. So you, you'll be able to hold the fairways, I think, a little easier. I, I do remember having my best driving week um, back in November when I won. Um, so looking for a lot of the same this week. How about your season so far to date? Some strong finishes out west, but maybe not so strong on the Florida swing. How would you assess your season so far? Yeah, you know, I, I've been working hard. You know, I haven't got the results out of, out of the season, I think, that, uh, that I feel like I, I would have liked especially leading into major championship um, months. But um, the work continues. It's always a work in progress. I know I'm always uh, one thought, one swing away from, from a spark. And, and that's just a funny game that we play. You know, you, you walk that fine line of, of not getting the results, and then all of a sudden you play well for, you know, a couple months straight. So um, looking to maybe spark something in, in the game this week for sure. Speaking of spark, it seems like the best players in the world, like yourself, it's usually with the putter or in a conversation with Scotty Scheffler or Rory McIlroy or yourself. Where are you with that club in particular? Yeah, I feel I feel good about my putting. I haven't I felt this good with my with the putter in my hand in a while, and the stats have shown me that. You know, I, I haven't driven the golf ball as well over the last couple of weeks as I would have liked. So this week I'm looking again to change that. Um, it's a golf course where I've had my most success with the driver the last time I was here. So. Um, that's the combo I'm looking for. Great, great driving week and, and holding some putts, and I think uh, some good things will happen. You mentioned it a couple of weeks before the first major championship of the year, a major you performed very well and historically. What do you want to get out of your game this week heading into the Masters? Yeah, I'd like to get a good result, you know, at the end of the day. You know, I think um, I haven't, again, gotten out of my game what I feel like I can, um, especially with the work that I've been putting in. So I'd like to have a nice result this week. Um, a title defense would be incredible as um, some great confidence going into a major championship, one that I, that I actually love. You know, Matt, an argument can be made uh, that Tony Finau's best major championship is the Masters, the only major that he's never missed the cut. He has three top tens in six starts at Augusta National Golf Club, including a personal best tie for fifth back in 2019. He played in the final group alongside Francesco Molinari and the eventual winner, Tiger Woods. Yeah, it certainly seems like he's in a, a good mindset, hoping that the driver and the putter both behave this week and set him up for the run 
through the majors and the masters that it's now just a couple weeks away. Now, aside from our defending champion, Scotty Scheffler, overall you have Will Zalatoris, Sawyer Thigala, Jason Day. They're among just some of the great names that are teeing it up this week. What are your thoughts about the field, Damon? Strong field, Matt, and a lot of smiles that I saw today here at Memorial Park. The players talking about the condition of the golf course in particular, saying it's the best they've ever seen it. You know, for example, in the rough, in the fall, the rough was typically, you know, higher or harder. Here, the rough this year in the spring, about an inch in length. I walked the front nine today with James Hahn, who dropped a couple of golf balls for me, especially around the greens. So the collars are pretty soft and they're holding. And in years past, the balls would often, you know, run off of the greens into some trouble spots, and the fairways would play a lot narrower. With the overseed, with the spring, the golf course is playing a lot softer, and it's really going to be a bomber's paradise this week. So a lot of smiles so far. It's only Tuesday. We'll see how things turn out once they tee it up for real come Thursday. David, thank you. Great job. Very much looking forward to your work all week. Now, as we mentioned, back in the fall of 2022, Tony Finau raced out to an early lead after round one. He never looked back. He won by four strokes. He shot a 16 under 264 aggregate to cruise to his fifth PGA Tour victory. Finau has been waiting almost 18 months to defend this one. Here's a bigger look at what we were just talking about this week's field. The biggest draw of the course will be uh, Scotty Scheffler, obviously, his first start since back-to-back -back wins at the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard of the players. Wyndham Clark, the man who was runner-up in both of those tournaments, will also tee it up this week. Same for, as just mentioned, Will Zalatoris, who already has two top five finishes this season as we welcome in Trip Eisenhower. This is a course with a great history, but from the last time we saw this event played here, it's moved from the fall to the spring. How much is that going to change the way the golf course is going to play, as we were just talking about with Tony Finau? Well, Damon did a great job there explaining it. I mean, it, it's it going to be completely different. I, I was talking to Billy Ray Brown, who's a Houston resident who works for for Golf Channel, and he was telling me, you know, this time of year it was going to play a lot softer around the greens. Those greens, the, the Tom Doak redesign, um, it, it absolutely has a lot. They're big greens, and, and but they have a lot of runoff. And and when it when it's overseeded Bermuda, it's not going to run as far, and it's softer. And then it's got you know, some overseeded rough to stop the ball closer to the greens. I mean, these balls would continue rolling off into really hard spots to get uh, up and in from when it played that firm. And also the fairways were harder to hit. So as Tony Finau said, it's going to be a, a kind of a counterpunch uh, punch argument is, yeah, it's going to play longer because it's softer, but it's also going to play easier because of it's easier to hit the fairways and keep the ball around the greens. Look for Tony Finau's score of 1,600. Remember, this is a par 70. It's got five par threes and just three par fives. So, again, like Copperhead last week, they're going to have five chances at par threes. And one of the things about pros when they play a lot of par threes, typically they don't take advantage, you know, and make a lot of birdies on those holes. So you would expect the scoring average to be fairly high, which it has been here. Last year it was actually over par for the field for the week. So this year, I think it's going to be under par for the field for the week. And when you look at uh, the scoring, as I said, I think 16 unders in danger this week. And of course, who does it favor? Well, <laughs> the long hitters are usually favored, but you got a long hitters that are on top of their game right now.